Hi guys. I want to do my September wrap up of what I've read. I read a total of 10 books and the total pages I read was 2,381. And since I have quite a few to get through, I'll get started. Uh, the first one I read was Big Sky Reunion by Charlotte Carter. And I rated this a 3 out of 5. And this had a lot of, it's a trigger for PTSD and a lot of guilt and anxiety. If that's something that you can't deal with, then I will suggest not reading this book, but if you think you can push through it, then this is a good book to read. I didn't hate it and I didn't love it as an average rating for it. Then I read Babysitter's Little Sister Super Special Number 1, Karen's Wish. I also rated this a 3 out of 5. This had to deal with Karen making wishes and learning about her friends, how she celebrates Hanukkah because she's a Jewish. And dealing with the, her grandmother being in the hospital and didn't know if she would be home for Christmas. So her one wish was for her grandma to be home for Christmas, which she was. Then I read Babysitter's Little Sister number 14, Karen's New Year. I also rated this one a 3 out of 5. I felt in this one that Karen took um, New Year's resolution a little too far and became a tattle teller, which her family ended up turning around and being a tattle teller of her because of things that she's broken. And then the next one that I finished is my favorite thing is monsters. Oh yeah. Karen, the babysitter's little sister books are written by Aunt Anna Martin. And my favorite thing is Monsters is written by um ML Ferris. I rated this a four out of five. I felt that even though the first half of this or so, I had a hard time getting into it. I felt it was kind of boring, but then the last half of it was what changed it and bumped it up to a four star for me because of how it ended. I wasn't expecting the turns that it took, so it was a fairly good book. And then I read The Babysitter's Club. The Portrait Collection of Marianne's Book by Anna Martin. I rated this a 3 out of 5 stars. And it's all about Marianne's story of how she grew up. It was something that she had to do for a school project where she had to talk about her the funniest stories in her life and everything. It was alright. Um, the next book I read is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And I read a 5 out of 5. I really love this book. And it had the feel of um, The Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass because of the fairies, the magical background to it, how if any of you has read Sarah J. Mass's The Court of Thorn and Roses series, you know what I'm getting at with this. It just had the feels 
and that's why I liked it so much. I, it was it kept you on the on your toes, and you wanted to see how um, she, the main character dealt with things. The next book is the House Husband. By James Patterson with Dwayne Swartzinski. And I rated this a 5 out of 5. It was a quick read, but it was a good book altogether. It was a mystery. How this guy... Um... Detective Beaumont that was dead because there's been so many deaths with families and her and her partner had to figure out how these were happening till her partner got killed and she was starting to notice small details especially when she went back and looked at all the videotapes that they did of the scenes that her and her partner were doing till the guy showed up at her house and was about ready to kill her husband that she had but he wanted to make a proposal to make her his wife and come to find out the guy that was proposing this deal to her was the one who did all the killings he might have seemed like he was dead at the scene when they went and looked at it but he wasn't dead he had his mindset on Detective Beaumont but it ended up where he got arrested and she got hurt in the long run but She's fine. I did listen to, I did read a ebook called The Duke's Shotgun Wedding by Stacy Reed. And I rated this a 5 out of 5. Excuse me. Um, I thought it was a really good book. But I felt it was cut a little too short because it was a short book, but I wish it could have went on a little bit, just a little bit more. But overall, it was good. And I would recommend this ebook. Um, I did listen to a audiobook called Blood Run by Leah Ruth Robinson. It was first published in January of 1989. I rated it a 3 out of 5. It was kind of like a thriller mystery novel. Come on, my side. Sorry, my cat wanted to get some attention from me. Sorry, buddy. It wasn't my favorite for a thriller mystery novel, but I didn't hate it either. And then the last one I read, which I finished this one up last night, it was Legendary by Stephanie Garber. I read this a 5 out of 5, and I love this. It was just as good as Caravelle. I know not everybody thought so or they thought this one that was their favorite or Caraval vice versa I felt it was just as good and the ending was not what I was expecting for an ending but it was really good and it kept you on your toes like Caraval did and I recommend this book to anybody who hasn't read it yet and that's it for my September wrap-up. I hope you all have a great weekend and take care.